So what I'm doing here is I'm troubleshooting a headlight problem. So I have one headlight that works, one headlight that doesn't. Now I just installed this Fisher wiring harness for my plow and I have an isolation module. Ignore that sound in the background, that's the vacuum pump pulling the AC unit. This isolation module, this is the lights to the left headlight, these are the lights to the right headlight, and my right headlight is not working. And so I'm making this video because normally I would be like, oh gosh, an electrical problem. Help, help me, help me. And I decided to not do that this time. Um, and so I just want to show you what I did. First thing I did is I got not afraid of it and I got out my test light and I was like, okay, let's test headlight to, or let's test power to the bulb. I'm gonna try and do this with one hand. So, oh, oh this will be a great shot. I love this. Oh, yeah, look at that. So, first thing I did was, do I have power coming to my, that's the wrong one. Do I have power coming to, no, that's the wrong one. Uh, do I have power coming to the harness, right? So, I check this and I'm like, uh, stand by. Is that the wrong side? Uh, I think I opened the plug. So I was like, mm. okay, check. I have power coming to the harness. And then I put my plug back together, made sure it was secure, click. And then I traced this through and it looks like it's yellow. So I'm like, yellow? Oh, it goes back into the harness. And I'm like, okay. And so part of troubleshooting wiring is understanding what the heck it's doing. So this power is coming from the car and it's coming into this harness into the yellow wire and the yellow wire is going all the way back to the computer. And I'm like, okay, so the computer needs to know when the headlights are on so that it can turn the headlights to the plow on. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so the computer says, if I have a plow connected, send power to the plow lights. That just made me think of something. Send power to the plow lights and not to the headlights. If I don't have a plow connected, then let's bring power back to this thing here, which is part of the Fisher wiring harness, and this plugs into the headlight, which is on the ground, right? So for, I, I test this, and I'm like, okay, so there's no power coming to the headlight. We, we kind of knew that because the headlight wasn't working, but this tells us whether or not our bulb is any good. If there's power coming here, then we've only got one place to look, and that's the bulb. But there isn't power coming here, and so we have to look at the Fisher module. And so I come up here, and I'm like, okay, that yellow wire is coming from the car, and let's see if it, it's getting power to the module. And so you do that, and you're like, okay, yes, it is getting power to the module, and then you're like, okay, orange is supposedly going to the headlight or supposed to be does it have any power and we test that and the answer is no which basically means if that is a no then the module is not sending power out and so it's either a bad module or what i just thought of is that some other condition must exist and that condition is for some reason for the left headlight it thinks, and this is only a maybe, it thinks that the plow is connected. If it thinks the plow is connected, it's not gonna send power to it. Nah, I don't know if I'm buying that because the plow headlight didn't work either. So I hate to think it's a bad module just because that's a lot of work, except for really it's only four plugs and two screws, but that's if the place I got it will exchange it so anyway don't be afraid of electrical troubleshooting but you have to start with an understanding of what the heck is going on before you start otherwise you have no idea uh, the other thing check first thing you check when you're troubleshooting electrical first thing to check when you're troubleshooting electrical are your fuses and this harness has a fuse in here and you look that squiggly line should be continuous and not broken 
it's broken and all black inside and the fuse is busted so look at this fuse and you can see that silvery that silvery thing is all silver so that's not it well we tried um the only other thing i would check is the headlight fuse from the car but because i have my test light out i know that i'm already getting power to the headlight so unfortunately it looks like the isolation module must be bad so uh i'm done troubleshooting here and i can say with reasonable certainty like 95 percent that there's nothing wrong with the headlight there's nothing wrong with the wiring there's nothing wrong with the harness it's in fact the isolation module or some other condition that's tricking it so electrical troubleshooting don't be afraid it'll be okay thanks for watching